Welcome back guys, we're here for the second part of Game Dev Tycoon, we're going to jump right in. So last time off we just developed the game UFO, selling reasonably well, better than we could expect considering the other games had been mm, a little bit less desirable should we say. You see the scores all under 5. We're UFO, we got our first one over 6, it's doing quite well, hopefully that can fund some further research so we can get on and make some better games. Research some aliens, shall we? But UFOs being taken off the market, sold 13,000 units, sales of 93,000. That's almost doubled our previous sales. 57, 40, 40. Far superior to the other games. Scratching his head, he's not too happy about this research. How hard is it to research aliens? Right, we should develop a new game. Our topics aren't exactly diverse, having space, UFO, and aliens. Comedy's a bit random, not entirely sure where that's going. We'll go with aliens since we've just researched it. Genre? That'd have to be action. Action, strategy, I don't think we've done a strategy game yet, so we're actually doing one of those. Now we've got the Tez on the market, which is the Nintendo. We've got to pay 80,000 to have the license for that. We've only got 70, so it's not the best one to go for, although it does have 40% of the market share. So it's naturally going to sell more than the others. I think we still have to go for the PC. Oh, PC market share is going down though. But I think if we cling on for a bit, develop for the PC, the Commodore 64 will eventually fuck off out of our life. And then we'll be able to afford the Nintendo. Because everyone loved the Nintendo, didn't they? So, our first Aliens games, it's a strategy game. So, let's just call it Aliens Attack. Or something like that. Aliens Attack. Who needs to spell words right? But 2D graphics. I don't think you're going to have a text based strategy game, are you? So, industry news. Recent release Tez Home console by Nintendo has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. Well done, Nintendo. As one customer says, I love the games that come with the Tez, and playing with the controller is so much more fun than a keyboard. Well, you're not wrong there. So in the development stage, so we're looking at the ending game playing story quests again. We've got to decide which which one we want to put our most amount of time into. Now, we're going for aliens and strategies, so I don't think story quest is going to be that high. We'll give that, what's that about? 15, 15%, that sounds about right. Engine and gameplay, I think these are both going to be quite important, so we'll, we'll leave them about even. Maybe put gameplay down. And, no, no, we'll leave it even. Leave monkeys away, let's have a look around this garage. Not the best. We <laughs> always need a new paint job. I don't like this greenwash with the what looks like mold on it. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. So we're in the next stage of development, we've got dialogues, strategy game. Don't think it really calls for that. We'll leave that where it is. Level design on artificial intelligence. I think artificial intelligence is gonna be the one we need to put most of our time into, so we'll put level design down a bit. We got a bit of damage on the wall. Get that from banging our head on when we're hitting bugs. So development stage three. World design. That's probably important. Sounds not going to be that important. Graphics maybe not. So we're still on the 2D graphics and basic sounds. We've not researched the others yet, but I don't think we're good enough to actually use them, and they cost you more money to not only develop, but to actually develop during the games as well. Since our games aren't selling well, we don't want to really minimise our profit that way. 
So we'll keep making these craft technology games until we build our funds up a little bit. It's costing us 8,000 grand a month. 8,000 grand? <laughs> 8,000 a month. Just to live in our parents' basement, which, no, that's costing us quite a bit to do that, really. That's not the best of rates. We need to have a chat with them, sort that out. Right, so we finished now, no bugs. See how we ranked up. New records in design and technology. We like that. Another new combo and topic. We'll take those bonuses. Some of our stats are starting to rank up a little bit faster than the others now. These are linked into what type of games you're developing, so we're going for more tech based games. They are going to level up a little bit faster. And we're leveling our ourselves up as well. That's good to see. So we'll release our game. See what the reviews are. First one's in for Aliens Attack. Oh. Oh, seven. We'll take that from Star Games. But an eight from Informed Gamer. Now, Hero Gamer, whatever the fuck this one is, he always fucks us over. What? He gives us an eight. Must have bribed him quite well. And a seven from All Games. This is going to be our highest rated game so far. Excellent. Hopefully, this sells really well for us. Well, like usual, we generate our game report because this will give us some hints for when we carry out some more development on games later. Industry report. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialised games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for the more mature age groups. Okay, we'll bear that in mind. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Yeah, well we like games that sell to everyone. So we've got new research, target audience. Well, we'll just make M rated games and stick an E rating on it. That sounds good. Engine reminder, don't forget creating custom engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your own custom engines. Once you research the custom engine, well we've already researched that. We've got a bit more money behind us, so we might actually be able to create one now. So we've got a game report in. Alien strategy, good combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Now we didn't actually put much sound into it. I didn't think it was that important, but we'll bear that in mind for next time. Platform, genre match. PC strategy, great. It's pretty obvious, we knew that already. So let's create our custom engine. So we want, we'll upgrade the graphics, linear story, give it a save game. So the cost is 90 grand, that's quite pricey. Right, what should we go call this? We'll call it, hmm. yeah, we'll start off calling it life. That's a good starting point. Life encompasses everything. Maybe that's the seven point. So when you research things like this, you get a big research bubble. And like you do when you're developing the games, you get all the little bubbles that go into the big bubble. And when the countdown gets to zero, you, you've actually yeah, <clears throat> finished developing your engine. So industry news. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are now rumours circulating that Fina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home game console of their own. Fina obviously is going to be Sega. So this is the first time he's made a game engine, so he is going a little bit slowly. And every now and then he's going to get a bubble for research, so we can put that into other things later on. See, Aliens Attacks doing really well, 28,000 sold so far. Right, life is completed. Let's give that a go. So we're going to choose life because we've just developed that. It'd be stupid to waste that money and not do it. So we've done aliens and strategy. I think we'll go for medieval and stick with strategy because we kind of know where that's going. We've just researched that a bit. Stick with the PC, whose share's actually gone up a bit. We could go for the Tez, but... It's a strategy game, so I don't think it's sell too well on the Tez. And 80,000 just to get the license and 30,000, well, that's more money than we got now, so that makes no sense. We'll stick with the PC. So, Medieval. Yeah, let's call it Total Sword. Oh, Thrust. Thrust? Thrust? I can't tap. 
that's what happens when your mic gets in the way. So we'll give it the 2D graphics. As you can see, when we select the 2D graphics, it actually costs more to develop than it does for the, the version 1 of the 2D graphics. An extra 20,000, so we've got to generate 20,000 more profit just to break even with that, which is a bit of a pain. But hopefully this sells well. If it sells well as the last one, we're in business. Linear story, do we need that? Mm, 10,000, we'll just go for the save game for now. We'll keep everything as it was, because it sold well before. The thing we're going to bear in mind is the sound. Last time when we did the research, it said the sound was really important. So Alien's attack has been taken off the market. 28 units sold. 28. Whoa, would be going bust if it was only 28. 28,000. 198,000 sales. That is awesome. That's at least trebled our maximum sales from our previous game. More industry news. Today, Fino has confirmed recent rumours about a new gaming console and announced the Master B. The company claims that the Master B is technically superior to the massively successful test by Nintendo and plan to re release it in the coming months. So this is the Master System. Roy, we're in development stage 2. I don't think dialogues are as important so I'm going to put them down a little bit. Put level to sign up. Seems okay. If any of you own the Sega Master System, I think it was actually the first console I properly owned that was mine and not the family's console. It's a pretty awesome console considering back in back in that day you had pretty much fuck all. Right, sound was more important, so we're gonna put the sound up. Sacrifice the graphics a bit. Maybe put the world to that. Maybe we'll put them evens. Yeah, even seems about right. Maybe graphics down slightly. And for the first time you seen Sonic, you knew you had finally been born. Before that, I can't even remember what I did before that. I think you just watched the TV. It's pretty dull. Right, we've finished developing our game. Oh no, you've got. A Bear in mind that bugs can creep up, so always make sure you're watching that before you click finish. You don't want to release a game with bugs in. The fans are not happy if you do. So we've got a record for both again, that's awesome. We get a new combo this time, but it's not giving us something else. I can't remember what the other one was. Ah, it'll come to me later. So we didn't lev up fully on edit anything. we still got to wait for the more games to develop. Once we level up ourselves, we'll be developing better games, so hopefully they'll sell better. There's no guarantee in life though. So our first game reviews are in. Another 8, Star Games. We love your Star Games. An 8 from Informed Gamer. Come on Game Hero, you've been liking us lately. An 8, we'll take that. Round it off with another 8, we'll be happy. Oh, there's always one bastard. I would generate our game report. We take a quick look at our history. So, total sword thrust. We got an average review of 7.75. I think that's our highest so far. Yeah, it's just slightly higher than Aileen's attack. Which made us 160,000 profit. We'll be hoping to break that with total sword thrust. Because it's a similar game. But... We've done our research, we found out sound is more important, so we put some more time into sound, so hopefully, hopefully it will sell more. So we had the top sales rank of 21, which is by far our best. It's only the second game to break into the top 100, so 21 is pretty good. Hopefully we can break the top 10 maybe? I'd really like that. We check out our news. Today, the new game platform, Master B by Bayonet, has been released. We'll probably do a couple of more games on PC, and then once that's done, we'll try and get on the console, because the consoles are outselling PC, so that makes sense. Got a game report in. Medieval and strategy is a great combination. Yeah, we knew that. Engine seems to be quite important for this type of game. We put quite a bit into the engine, so they should be happy. And we got a new engine, Life, as well, so 
Hopefully no one's seen anything like that before. Right, we've got some more news here. According to market research, the recently published game Total Sword Thrust is a surprise hit. Get in, my son! The developer, Badass Bastards, is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they would develop next. Ah, oh, that's nice, guys. More news. It's hitting us with a lot of news now, but if it didn't, you would literally just be sitting there watching some nerd in the basement bash on a keyboard. Maybe when this has come up, he's actually watching a bit of porn in the background. It's probably where he's spending most of his time, and we don't want to watch that, do we? So we've got recent released gaming console, Master P by Fairna, has stirred up the market world. Interesting experts say that the console is not very well marketed in North America. Yeah, we all know that. But that it will flourish in other parts of the world. I'm pretty sure the Master System did really well in Europe. Not too sure how it did in America. But the Nintendo was really, really successful in America. They poured a fortune into the marketing and it really took off. I never actually had a Nintendo myself. I went down the, the Sega route, I had the Master System Mega Drive and moved over to the Super Nintendo. I had the Mega CD as well, but the less said about that, the better. So Total Sword Thrust is now off the market, sold 35,000 copies, generating 250,000 sales. That's our best by far. More than we could have hoped for, 190,000 profit. So uh, give us an extra 30,000 profit in comparison to Aileen's tax. So we're looking quite healthy. Carry out a little bit more research. Oh, decline. Right. We'll go for mono sound. The more and more we go through, sounds are going to be more important. We can get by without tutorials and target audience. Well, I don't give a fuck about that. So we'll go with sound. 40 grand, so it best be worth it. If I had 40 grand to spend, I certainly wouldn't still be in the grubby basement. No one wants to stay down here. You've successfully researched mono sound. On to the next game. We should we see what other genres we can research actually? Our ones are a bit boring. Prison. Oh, it's not really hitting us with good ones so far. Oh, the easiest ones to do, the ones that make more sense, are the sports, fantasy, oh, and military. They're the easiest ones to do because a lot of it makes sense, all the development and the design. With these other ones, it's really hit and miss. Like, I don't even know what to do for rhythm. I'm never researching that. I just flop. I'm going to flop out on five games before I work out how to do it. So we we'll research prison because it's the only way to research better ones. We've got to open these up to open the later ones up. Hopefully we hit the good ones soon enough. Then we can update this poster. We've got 220 grand, I think we can get a better poster than that now. So prison is done. A quick look if it opened up anything decent. Wild West, nope. Fuck you. Right, let's play the next one. Oh, casual games available. Most games were pretty casual back here, none of them were epic. Let's go for prison, because we've done that. Simulation. Should we go for the Tez? Tez, 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 tez. We'll stick with the PC. Or should we go Tez? I'll tell you what, we'll wait for the Mega Drive or the Super Nintendo to come out and then we'll go into console. Let's call this Prison Keeper. Or Kepper. White Dungeon Kepper, but not as good. Stick with the 2D level 2 graphics. Don't want to really go back to tech space, we're past that now. So, prison and simulation. I'll stick the story in there, it costs us 10 grand, but hopefully. Oh no, actually, you don't like story quests. But, mm, you don't like it, but if you have more of something you don't like, is that a bad thing, or does it make the bad thing better? Hmm, I'm gonna make for. Yeah, it's going to be making the bad thing better, I'll go with that. More industrial news here. Recent market data shows that the Govador G2 
G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against the other PC manufacturers. Good news for us, because we, we haven't developed anything with the Golmador. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing high-priced computers. It generally doesn't work to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Oh, I thought there was going to be a little bit more news said about that. That was like an open statement. We don't want bugs in life. Get rid of these bugs. Development stage. Just right. Simulation and prison. Mm, dialogues might be slightly more important. Artificial intelligence can be really important. Which most of our games we do at the moment, the artificial intelligence. Blah, blah, blah. The artificial intelligence is important, so we're, st we're sticking that, we'll keep going. Be cool if you could make yourself little notes on the notice board. Roy, simulation, maybe sounds not overly important. World design, not overly important. Graphics down a bit. I think world design is a simulation game. You want it. You want it to be creative, rather than bare but looks sharp. No one wants something that's bland and sharp. I'd rather have something that's creative and maybe not quite as sharp. It's a lot of bugs. And even more bugs. Get rid of those bugs, guy. Industrial news today, Nintendo has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the GameLink. Oh, we've got to be on that. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, damn, a monochrome screen on a green background, built in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. I remember getting the Game Boy when it came out, and it was pretty awesome. Although, when the only game I got was Tetris, yeah, there's only so much Tetris you can play. But back then, there wasn't as many games released, and you tend to just get games for your birthday and Christmas. Not like nowadays, where you know, kids pick up games any day of the week, really. They're much cheaper, and there's much more spare pocket money going around. I just get a fuck all money, so I can never afford a game. Be lucky if I got some sweets. We've got some more news here. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the GameLink is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might be a huge following. It really did find a huge following. It's still going today. It's in about its thousandth iteration, but it's going strong. Unless the Switch fucks it over, which hopefully it doesn't. So the gaming is said to hit the shelves next month. Ooh. That was a bad timing as we're just about to release a game on a different console slash PC. Alright, doesn't look like we've got as many points here. Just finish that up. Won't be breaking any records there. Oh no, we did. I thought we got in the twenties for that before. We must not. Our bonuses, new topic, new combo. Nice to rank up. So we should keep going with this new combo, new topic thing. We'll rank up much faster, and then the games we make will be better. You want to make kick-ass games, don't you? And get better every time. You don't want to haul out the same trash every time. I'm not looking at you, Call of Duty, I'm really, really not. Hard. Right, our first game review is in. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we've hit a stunner. Hit one out of the park. A nine from Star Games, that's the first nine we've received, that's awesome. They can't wait for the sequel. Informer, they just liked it, it's a good game. Seven, I'll take that. Game Hero, one of the best, nine, thank you. You were a right bastard to begin with, but you've been giving me good ratings lately. And all games, they give us seven enjoyable. It's a bit mixed, really. Either you loved it or you thought it was decent. So, we'll get our game report. We'll just see how our first week does. News. Today, the new platform gaming by Nintendo has been released. I think we'll make our next game on the game link. That sounds pretty awesome. Game report. Prison and simulation is a great combination. 
gameplay seems to be very important for this type of game. Awesome. You see in there, in our first week, we hit rank 14, so we're getting better and better each time. Oh, we only went up by one, by total sword thrust, even though the game was much higher. Oh, I suppose it's only a quarter rated higher. Hopefully we get a similar sale to the total sword thrust. It cost us more to make, so we'll have to sell more. See if this cost us 59,000. Oh no, that was 59 as well. Oh yes, Total Sword for us was the, the first one we made with the life engine. So if you look at the one before that, Aliens Attack, it was 39,000, so it was much cheaper to make. So at that point, I think I'll leave it there, guys, until next time. If you've enjoyed watching this video, thanks for your support. Hit the like button, give me a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.